Welcome to Wednesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where my first job today is probably to apologise for the state of my voice. Uh, I'm definitely under the weather today. It might be COVID, um, so I've got a huge headache. And yes, it's very, very tedious indeed. But I know from experience that uh, the thing that cheers me up when I'm under the weather is to do puzzles. So you'll have to forgive the brain fog if there is any, but I'm going to be attempting this puzzle on the screen today. And this is exciting for me because this is not a Sudoku. This is a star phenomeno uh, by the constructor Overlure, which I think is what you shout if somebody steals your camera in Paris. Uh, it means stop thief or to the thief. Um, and this has a 100% approval rating on Logic Masters Germany and just three stars out of five for difficulty. So hopefully it won't be absolutely brain breaking. Um, but yeah, we, yeah, it should, should absolutely be a treat. And that's what we like to do when we venture away from the world of Sudoku. We like to find pencil puzzles that are just so amazing that we give everybody else a chance to catch the bug that we've got, if you'll excuse the, uh, the pun there. I mean the, the, the pencil puzzle bug, not the COVID bug. Um, anyway, uh, I don't have much news today either, so we can, we can kick straight off into this. But my first job, I do have a job, and that is to say a very happy birthday to Marie. And that's from your fiance, Sven Erling. I hope I'm saying your name correctly, Sven Erling. Um, and uh, he wrote a very charming email uh, in which he says that he loves you and cannot wait to marry you in September. So a heartwarming message for Marie there. I'm not sure if you're allowed. Well, you should you should have, certainly have cake. It's your birthday. So um, yes, I hope you have a lot of cake, um, uh, the two of you uh, today. Now, I can put it off no longer. Let's have a look at Star Philomeno and I will read you the rules. Oh, by the way, the other thing I just wanted to mention is do check out yesterday's video, Monopoly Sudoku, mad, absolutely crazy stuff from Trevor Nicholas, um, where basically the puzzle was presented in the form of an, a Monopoly board. Uh, it's proving to be quite a popular video that with good reason, because it's fairly mad to think that you can overlay Monopoly with Sudoku, but apparently we discovered yesterday you can. Um, now, these are the rules of Star Philomeno. Here we go. Uh, divide the grid into regions called polyominoes, uh, so that no two polyominoes with the same area share an edge. Inside some cells are given numbers. Each number must represent the area of the, of the polyomino it belongs to. Uh, a polyomino may contain 0, 1 or more of the given numbers. Also, every row, column and polyomino must contain exactly two shaded cells. Shaded cells cannot touch even diagonally. Now, I know many of you will be very familiar with the star battle rules, and that's what that last sentence or last two sentences is about. So that means in the finished grid, we're going to have to put two stars in this row um, uh, only. So the rest of this row would not be starred. Uh, it means that in this 14 region, whatever that looks like, let's draw a 14 region. Um, how many is that? That's 9, 10, 11, 12. 34. I can't count today. It's awful. Awful. My brain doesn't work. Um, so there would have to be two stars in this in this little region if this was the 14 region. And the way to think about the phenomeno condition is let's let's actually uh, use those fours there. So imagine this four went like this. If this four went like this, this four could never come to this cell. Because if it did, it would be touching uh, a region of its of the same size orthogonally. So patterns like this are illegal in Philomeno. You mustn't do this. You need to keep the fours. Uh, well, they, they can touch diagonally, but not orthogonally. Um, and that is all the rules. So hopefully that's clear. I know most of you will be familiar with Philomeno. So just to go over it once more. So this six is saying we have to build a size six region uh, that includes this cell. And then the star battle rules are saying put two stars into that region. So I imagine the small numbers are going to be key to this. Um, do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. But now I get to play. Let's get cracking. So let's in fact start up here then because, well, let's, <laughs> let's do the most obvious thing ever, which is to divide this four from this six region. So... Oh, actually, I've got a three region as well. Ah, there is a little point about um, star battle in relation to this three. This three cannot be that sort of region. 
And that's because one way to think about a star battle puzzle is that in any 2x2 two two of the grid, you can only put a maximum of one star. So imagine this was the shape of the three region. How are we going to put two stars into it? We can put one there, but then the other one has nowhere to go. Because this one, of course, rules out any of these cells. Because any of these cells would touch this one, uh, either diagonally or along an edge. So that tells us that the so the three region is either a sort of horizontal three region or a vertical three region. And that means it's going to be something like this. That would be a possibility for a three region. But it could be the same going uh, along row two. Is this, what, is this a 10 by 10? 4, 5? Yes, 10 by 10. So it's not 9 by 9 today. Um, and... But what we could do instead of this look is we could do something like that as well. That would be a legitimate. We don't have to put this three at one edge of the Philomeno region it's in. So if this is horizontal, is it putting pressure on this? No, it's not putting pressure on the four, is it? Because the four could pick up two, um, two stars in row one in these cells. Look there and there and then poke up here and be something like this. So, hmm, uh, okay, so how do you do this then? There's an awful lot of real estate here to fill into. Oh, that's going to be it. <laughs> that's going to be it. Okay, well done, brain. Thank you. Even when I lift my eyes up like that, I get like blinding flashes. But I have had a blinding flash of inspiration here because... There are surely enough different digits in here. Remember, every single region in this puzzle has to have two stars in it. And so in the puzzle, but in the puzzle overall, there are 10 rows. So there are going to be 20 stars. So this, there's, there's only one seven region. There's only one five region. There's only one eight region. There's, there are two four regions because you can't connect those two together. I don't th no you can't you can't connect those in a single region. You can connect those sixes together actually. Um, so I better just highlight one of these. The three. So I'm already I'm already up to seven seven different regions which have to account for fourteen stars. Oh, the ten could join to its friend down there. Uh, is that tr oh? It's difficult for it to do that and. Oh, okay, right, I see. Right, that's very persuasive as well. I think I think this is gonna I think we're on the right track here. Um so let's let's do one for the ten and one for the fourteen. Now how many regions have I died? So how many definite different regions have we identified in the puzzle? Five, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these regions account for eighteen of the stars in the puzzle. Which means there can only be one other region in the puzzle. And I'm absolutely sure that these numbers do not add up to 100. Because, because every, every cell in this, in this grid has to be covered in a, in a Philomeno region. So what we've got to do now, I think, is to, uh, in fact, let's switch that for that and then the maths gets easier. 10, 20, in fact, let's switch that for that and then we can keep going in 10s. 10, 20, 30, 39, uh, 53, 61. So there are 61 cells covered by the regions that I've got little blue, I've labelled blue. So that means that there is another region in this puzzle that is a 39 region in order to ensure that the, the whole 10 by 10 grid is covered in Philomeno regions. And there can't be, we can't split that 39 into two different regions because, because of the rule that says uh, you have to put two stars in every region. If we were to do that, we would have more than 20 stars in the puzzle because the blue cells are catering for 18 stars. The 39 region gives us the other two. So that's 20 stars, and that's all the stars we're allowed. Now, <laughs> this is, I love this sort of thing, by the way. It's this sort of meta-ideas. Um, 
for an overlure. This is this is really clever. And it, the reason I also like it is I suspect there'll be some people who who will stare at this puzzle for a while and insist it's absolutely broken. And that would be a totally reasonable assumption, because unless you spot that there is a problem with the, the maths here, it's not going to be easy to solve. But look what this does. Um, I've got to, I'm now, because there's only one 10 region in this puzzle, I have to join this to this in a way that doesn't, that, that allows this 14 to have 14 cells in it. Well, I can't start doing this sort of thing because even my brain can add up that that, what's left there is not, is not 14 cells. I think looking at this, in fact, let's, let's get rid of the blue misses now. It looks to me like it's got to do that. I can't see another way. Of, a, of joining this 10 to this 10 um, in 10 cells and leaving 14 cells behind. So I think we can immediately do this and this and uh, now what do we do? So now we've got to, so there is a 39 reach, ah, ah. Now here is, an, here is a very interesting point actually. Oh, this, this is cheering me up. Um, because remember now that every single cell in this puzzle has to be reached by one of its regions. We can't have cells in a philomeno that are not in a region. So that means, how, how do you get to those two cells? I don't think that six will reach and that three won't reach. So these two cells are part of the, they must be part of the 39 region. So those two cells are sort of, oh, this is, right, this is lovely. This is absolutely lovely because now, now I've penned something into the top right corner. I've got to get it out. This, this is a third, this, um, I'm not being very articulate here, but this, this domino here is part of a region that's of size 39. So it's got to get out of this little cul-de-sac it's in. So it's got to come across the top. Look. Um, Ah, oh, this is so good. This is so good. These sixes are in the same region, aren't they? So however I, however I join this one to this one, um, let's, let's do it like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. This 39 region, which is the top right region, still has to get out. And it's sort of been corralled in by this six. So that means it's got to slip out down that little stretch there, look. We don't quite know how this six is going to be drawn, but we do know we have to get the 39 out and this six basically forms a wall. However we draw it, you know, however we draw that six, it's forming a wall that the 39 needs to duck, duck around. So now the three region is horizontal. <laughs> oh, this is so good. So now the three region is horizontal, which means that we can start using color, I think, for the first time. Because in this row, um, I know that there are now two stars within this three region. Now, I, I don't know where this three region goes, but I know it's got two stars in it. So I can't have any stars over here. So I'm going to use red and green. Oh, am oh, I meant to do that? No, red, green, colorblind is bad, isn't it? Oh... Oh, sorry. All right. What I will do instead is I will use blue. I will use blue and orange. So blue, blue is not star and we'll make orange star. Um, right. Let me think about this. The other thing I'm seeing here is that there is a complete problem with what will be column eight, nine and 10 here. Yeah, here's a, here is a point. How many um, how many stars are we expecting in this this three column segment of the grid? Now, because we know there are two stars in each column, this must account for six stars. But I know the ten region gives me two, the fourteen region gives me two. So that means this little two by three region here must have two stars in it. And then ask yourself, given this two by two rule, could you ever have a star in either of these cells? 
And the answer is no, because if you do put a star there, you have to ring it entirely with blue, and you'd only have one star in this 2 by 3 region. So that means these, whoopsie, these two cells are definitely blue. They are not star. There must be a star in the top, uh, top right-hand corner. Oh, I'm not meant to be using red, am I? Sorry, I forgot. I use orange. There must be a star up here. There must be a star up here in order to get us to the count we need. Um, and now the, these two cells now can't have um, a star in because that would remove a star from this domino where I know that there is exactly one star. So there's a bit of, um, I mean, I've done a lot of star battles in my life, so this is the notation I like to use. So a little gray flash means one of these two cells has to be a star. Um, so, uh, right. So now, now this three region is forced, I think. Oh, what was it? Is it forced or not? Oh, that's go. Yes, it is forced. It is forced. Right. How do we build this three region? That is my question. Now, if the three region took these three cells, let's draw that in and just examine it for a moment. Hopefully you can see that our 39 region is now locked into the top of the grid. It cannot get out. So that, that is not how to draw this three region. So it must take this cell. So we can now sort of draw this little line. Well, if we took this cell as well, we've only got one star in this uh, threesome and that breaks the rules. So in fact, we must do, we must do that, I think, which means that we've now learned that this is a star We've learned that this is a star. We can blueify this. We can blueify this because we've got two stars now in row two. Um, we can blueify this. We've got two stars in row two. We can blueify everything uh, that's in any way connected with these oranges. So loads more blues fill the grid. Ah, and, and we needed that. We needed there to be a star in one of those two, and it's now got to be in the top right corner of the grid. And look now, how do we get the 39 out? Well, it, it's, it's, been, it's been forced to come out there, which forces the 6 to come up, which forces the 39 to come down, which forces... Well, now I can see, and hopefully it's obvious, if you want to connect those 6s together um, and these cells are not available, you have to do it as efficiently as possible or you'll take more than 6 cells. So that 6 is finished. Oh, this is just what I needed. Thank you very much, Ophala. <laughs> and now, so so what some people would do um, is to write six into all these. I, I don't know whether I'm going to do that. Um, so, right, okay, this cell is now a star. Um, and that's because, think about this 10 region. If there is not a star here, because this 10 region needs two stars, there'll be two stars in this string of digits, and there'll be three stars in column eight altogether. So that's a star, which means these are not stars, which means I've got my two stars for column 10, and all of those become blue. Um, so now, now what do we do? The answer to that is I don't know yet, but I feel like at least, I feel like we've, we've definitely got the break in. So one, two, three, four. That's annoying <laughs> because if this was blue, there would have been three two by twos in that region, and I would have known because I need four stars in these two columns. I could have allocated one there, one there. And one there. Um, so, what do I do now? That's the next question. I can see I've got a little bit of a constraint in row three now. I've got only got one more star to put over here. I've got one more star to put over here. Ah. Okay, so what about this four? Um, or maybe that's not... I've got to be a bit careful with this four 
because I'm not sure it can be an I pentomino or I sorry an I tetromino like this which would allow me to put a star here and a star in one of these but the problem with that is it definitely breaks the six because I've got to put two stars in the six yeah or uh, no yes yes okay the question the question the simpler question is is this a star if this is a star I can't put a star in any of those cells in row one and now how on earth do I get two stars in the four region even if I try and escape from these cells that can't be stars I'd get to here that's as far away as I can get and I'd have to put two stars into this domino that will not work so so what we can say actually I think is that this cell is unstarred which means means one of these three is a star which would have allowed us to make this cell blue but I'm not sure but ah, the simpler right so again I'm missing the simple things the six the six region now has to have two stars in it well that's a two by two so that can have one star in there so there must be a star in here which allows us to totally ring that in blue there's definitely a star in these two cells now and that means these two cells have to be you've guessed it blue Ooh, so now this how so does that mean this has to do that I think it does how do we get two stars into this oh no uh, no maybe it could do that instead oh that's tricky right so I think what we're meant to appreciate here is that uh, in order to complete this four region with two stars, I can put one star into these three cells. In fact, I need to put one star in those three cells. So I need a second star in this four region. But I can't get to this cell within four, one, two, three, four, five. So there must be one here. Um, and therefore there's one in these two cells, but I don't know, I don't know whether this does that or does that I don't think but I do know all of those then become blue I know that the top left cell of the grid is now blue and the top left cell of the grid is not the four because if we made this in the four we'd have three cells there we can never get to this cell so this is I think yes this is I was going to say this could be part of the 39 but it actually can't because if, if this is part of the 39, we have to come out here and you can see that this, let me, in fact, let me draw it in. We'd have to do that and we've isolated this cell from its friend, the four, where it needs to belong. So that means that the top, this cell is the part of the seven because we know every cell in the grid is part of an existing given region apart from the 39, <laughs> nothing else can get there. So, um, so this has got to date those two cells. Yeah, and what it can't do. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I'm about to have a coughing fit. Um, I'm not sure about this cell. I'm not. I'm just wondering whether it could do that. The seven region, it might be able to. And then the four could sort of do that or something. But oh, I'll tell you the other thing that's interesting here. How, right. Woo, how do I get two stars into this seven region? Because in the top four rows of the grid, we know that any stars in this top left region belong to the four, they do not belong to the seven. So in, in this sort of string of digits, there are no stars in the seven. So I've only, and then I've only got three more cells to get out. So either this has to do this, right, this is, this is com getting complicated now. That's definitely part of the seven. That's definitely part of the seven. This is definitely part of the seven because if it's not, um, you're going to isolate a, a region here that's not, uh, that's not in an existing given area. So that's part of the seven as well. Now, I think this is probably part of the seven, but I think that the point is that I've got to get, I've got three cells outside the top, the top rows of the grid 
to take two more stars in the seven region. So it's either got to be those, or it's got to be those. So either it comes up here and turns and has two stars here, which may or may not be possible. I'm not sure. It certainly, I think, put... No, it, it's not possible, actually. That's lovely. That is lovely. Right, let's look at this as a possibility. So if the seven region does that, there's two reasons this doesn't work. The first is... The first reason I saw was that because you have to put a star here and a star here, uh, this four region's broken. Because how... Oh, no, it is broken. Because it's got to have two stars in it. And there's just... Because you can't put a star in any of those three cells, there's no way to build two stars. If you go this way, you could have one star here or one star here, but not two stars. So that's that's what I noticed. But I've just seen an, a rather more elegant reason, which is that this seven is hiving off part of the... You know, these cells in the top of the grid, or certainly this... Uh, well, actually, this one, for sure, is definitely in the 39 and can't get out. It's penned in by the seven and the four. So that's impossible. So this is impossible, and this is the sort of impossible we like. So now the seven has to drop down, which means it comes down here, which means that this is now a string like this. Uh, we can enter in every single star in the seven region by force and put blues around them. We can Um, mm, okay, and then I don't know what we do next. Oh, yeah, I do. I've got two stars in this row. That's probably been available for a while. So that's got to be blue. That's got to be star, therefore. So now I've got two stars in row four. This becomes blue. That's nice because that forces me to have three two by twos, if you remember what I said earlier, in these cells. I'll just make those funny colours to remind myself. Um, this is touching a star, so both of the oh, uh, ooh, actually, have I broken this? Mm, no, no, I haven't, but I, uh, I nearly have. Wow, that's very, right, this one is very interesting now, because none of these cells in row five can be stars. And so I've only got, given that this cell is clearly in the four region, I've only got three more cells to add to this. And I've got to get two stars in it. So I need I need those three cells to be in two different two by twos. So what we can't do is, hopefully this is clear, what we can't do is um, this. Because that's going to put two stars in there and I've got three stars in column four. And once that is removed as a possibility, I think I've got to do that instead. So that allows us to put two stars into those cells and just about not break the puzzle. So that forces this. So now, oh, well now there's loads of stuff we can do. Firstly, we can ring all of these in blue. We've got two blue, well, we've got two oranges in this row. So those become, um, those become blue. So there's a one in here and that goes with this look. This becomes blue now. Um, okay, and now one, two, three, four, five. Right, what is this cell? And the answer is it can't be part of the five, it can't be part of the eight because it's going to pen the five in. So it must be part, it can't be part of the four, so it must be part of, you've guessed this, the 39. So that goes in there. Some of this top stuff is also going to be part of this 39 as well, I think. Um, because I can only take of the, of the four cells at the top in, or sorry, the eight cells in that region, I can only put four of those in here. So there's got to be four of them as part of the 39. Um, yeah, so we can, we can keep going with this, can't we? This must be part of the 39. There's no way we can get the eight to go to there. So that's part of the 39. One, two, whoops. Uh, let me just do a count along the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this cell can't be reached by anything apart from the 39. Can't be reached by the five, can't be reached by the eight. 
and I think it therefore has to be part of the 39. So yeah, and we can't isolate. What we can't do is grab that cell but leave this cell behind because obviously this is not going to be part of a region with a given number in it. So we've got to, I think, come all the way to here. But we don't know whether these are, these are starred or not. We've got... Ah, beautiful. Yes, look, I've got one star in my 39 region at the moment. Um, that's here. Well, look at this column. Um, this column. There's got to be a star. There's got to be two stars. So there's got to be one star in there. And there's got to be one star in here. But what's interesting about this is that um, this star must be in the 39. Because we know these two cells are in the 39. So that's the, that's the last star in the 39 region. And therefore this star down here, which is necessary for a second star in row, whatever this is, row seven, column seven, has to be part of the eight. So that means the eight must come along the bottom of the grid. And again, if we, that's because if you try and go any other way to get to this cell, for example, um, you're gonna isolate a region that's not got um, not got a 39 size region in it and the 39 size region is the only region that we're allowed in this puzzle that is not one of the given regions. So I think we have to come all the way along the bottom. Now I was going to make those blue but that's total nonsense. Um, well what I should do is do this. That is all part of the 8 region and that is 7 cells of the 8 region. So I could get to this cell but that's as far as the 8 region could go. Oh, here's a small point that sometimes comes up in star battle. Look at this column. I've got one star in it, which means I need one star in these three cells. So these two cells can't be stars because they would rule stars out of all three of those. So those are both blue. These are both blue. I've just noticed I've got two stars in the seven region in column one. Um... Okay, and if there's a, oh yeah, here we go. If there's a star in this domino, there's no star in that, in this red region because it would be too close. So you only have one in that two by two. So that's blue, which means there's now a star in one of these two cells. Same logic applies there for the gray. So they become blue. Now in this column, we've got one star here and one star there. So this is not a star, it would be a third star, which means this is a star. Uh, which doesn't do anything, I don't think. I can I can do exactly the same for these three. These have all got to be blue, the other side of these dominoes. So now... So, hmm, okay. So I know that this is part of the four. Yeah, okay, so... This cell has to be part of the four, doesn't it? Sorry, this was obvious if I'd thought about it. If that's not part of the four, it's part of a one or a two region, which cannot exist. If this is not part of the four, it's part of a four region, which cannot exist. So that is me being incredibly, uh, well, it's my brain being too ill to concentrate on simple things. I apologize. Um, but what that doesn't do, well, okay. So that means that my uh, 39 region has to take all of these cells up here now. Has to take all of those. Um. Oh, right. Now this is getting interesting. Not that it hasn't been interesting to this so far, but this is, this is really cool. So now, think about these three cells. Those three cells there. How many stars are there in these three cells? And the answer is one, exactly one, because there's one here. In these two rows, we know there are four stars. And there's one here, one in that domino, one in that domino. So there must be exactly one in this domino, which means this cell is, is blue. So where does the five, and that's blue, by the way, because if that was a star, you'd rule the stars out from all three of those positions. So where does the five get its 
second star. It gets one from here. It must get the other one there, I think, because this is part of the eight. So this this is a star, which means these and all of those are now unstarred. Ooh, so now I've got... Okay, so how does this work? I can't get to that cell now with the five and make this a star, because the only way of getting to this cell with the five is with a straight line, and that will only allow me to put one star in the five. So this must be the second star in the five, which means this is blue, which means that we have to do, I think it's got to be like a Y pentomino, something like that. Like, whoopsie, um, like this, which, which allows my 39 to come out here. Oh, look, and I've got two stars now in column. Oh, look, I've got loads of stuff. I've got two stars in column two, so that's not a star, which means this is a star, which does column three stars. I've got two stars here, so this is not a star. I've got, I need a second star in this column. That must be here. I think we're just tidying up now. Oh, that cell is part of the eight because it, it can't be a part of a, like a region of size one. We've worked that out. So, so th these seven are in the eight plus this is a one that's eight. So that means that we know the eight region. What a great puzzle this is now. Oh yes. So now where do I get my second star in the eight from? It must be here which means this is not star, which means, thi oh, this is not star, I see. So that forces this to be star. And of course, what that's gonna do is push this one not to be star, forces this one to be star, which means I've got two stars in this row. So that unstars itself. And I think that is possibly the finished solution. So let's, let's fill in all of our <laughs> all of our 39 region um, so maybe I should no I'm not going to color it in I think maybe I should check that it does add up to 39 as well that might be sensible mightn't it although it does feel rather exhausting for me to do that um, so that's 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 24, 27, 29, 32, uh, 35, and four, and four more is 39. Beautiful, so that is correct. Wow, I just love that. That's so class, isn't it? Overler, take a bow, absolutely brilliant puzzle. Um, let me know in the, in the comments how you got on. Actually, maybe I should just draw a little line there, just draw some little lines here. I, I don't know, I don't know what people are gonna get cross about. Um, look, I'll do, I'll do this sort of thing and I've got, yeah, there we go. And that, and I think every cell has got a line in it now. Uh, loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, yeah, as I say, let me know in the comments how you got on. I do enjoy reading the comments, especially when they're kind and we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.